Greetings everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to run uh, collection ads on Facebook. So basically uh, all you need is a Facebook business manager and uh, you need an ad account and of course the page that you want to run your ad on. The first thing that you do is click on business tools and go to the ads manager. Uh, this video is going to be very quick and uh, I want to share a maximum information in a very uh, less time so uh, once you came here what you do is go and click create button you see uh, these are the different types of objectives uh, for Facebook ads it's tricky because a lot of people don't know um, where the collection ads are or under which objective so basically they are under conversions yeah click on conversions and click continue and name your campaign and then leave all these parts, special ad categories, all of these, they need a separate video to be explained. Leave A and B testing behind and just click on campaign budget optimization and uh, click on daily budget and lifetime budget. What is the difference between this? Lifetime budget is, uh, is an amount of budget that you allocate for your campaign and you don't want Facebook to spend more than this in a specific time frame. So $40 maybe for uh, a month or 20 days and then you click next button after that uh, where do you want the conversion to take place uh, so I have a website so I'm gonna click website you can also uh, you you can also select application if you have or you can send people or you can send your ad on the messenger and of course you can also send it on whatsapp uh, this way uh, people will see your ad on Facebook but uh, they will have this send WhatsApp button on the ad and when they click they will go and convert on WhatsApp. Uh, so what is a pixel? Uh, this also needs another video. What is a pixel and how to create a pixel and a conversion event. I'm going to select this one. So I have installed a pixel on this website, the, the particular website that I'm going to type in the ad. Uh, so it's a pixel that tracks uh, people's activity on the website and then you can if you want you can retarget those people the ones who have already visited your website this is uh, this is a part of a remarketing or retargeting strategy and it is very useful if you want me to create a video about Facebook pixels and how to track conversions uh, then you can comment on this video and then I'll create another video so leave dynamic creative for now and offer leave it behind and just click on your budget uh, and schedule in here you can select the time frame for your ad suppose I'm going to spend forty dollars for ten days yep depending on your own choice and Facebook uh, requires one dollar spent per day so you can only spend one dollar per day uh, at least the uh, the least amount to spend ads on Facebook is one dollar per day you can't spend 50 cents on one day so you have to select one dollar but uh, Facebook doesn't care if you spend one thousand dollars in one day but at least you should be spending one dollar a day okay create your audience uh, this section is very useful and uh, uh, in here there are a lot of uh, parts to be explained which unfortunately they need more time therefore I'm not going to discuss them the, which they are like lookalike audience custom audience uh, the, they are very important for Facebook advertising uh, I will leave them now if you want me to explain them in another video please comment and uh, so the location location where your ad uh, should be shown to people you select the location it's Afghanistan okay uh, you can um, you can edit the age gender and also detail targeting detail targeting is really important in your ad suppose uh, this ad uh, is basically designed for the e-commerce uh, business owners uh, you can use it for other purposes but this is designed only for e-commerce and uh, suppose um, I'm trying to create a sample ad for shoes so therefore I'm going to uh, target people who are interested more in online shopping and of course uh, the, the page that I'm going to use it's mainly focused on online shopping and e-commerce website 
and uh, maybe shoes yep people are interested in shoes and uh, yep the detail targeting uh, you can see that uh, the audience is fairly broad in here uh, the reason it is showing right now like this is because I discovered this anomaly on Facebook because Facebook is constantly getting updated so therefore I discovered under conversion when you target audience and you make uh, and you do a very um, selected detail target and when you do detail targeting actually this doesn't change because uh, Facebook has a problem issue with that so it needs to be fixed okay and we come to the placement placement is really important in here it is very tricky placements on Facebook a lot of beautiful ads are run through this place uh, suppose if you want if you want your ad to be only shown on uh, the messenger section you just uh, click on manual placement and then click on messenger only but uh, if you want it to be automatic and let Facebook decide where your ad is going to be shown then you have to select automatic placement once you have uh, uh, once you have selected your placement uh, what you can do is you can click on next button and uh, identify the page that your ad is going to run as well so if you select your Instagram account uh, the ad will be shown also to the Instagram account as well as uh, correlated with Facebook page it's correlated with Facebook page uh, so this is the interesting part you come and you select the format of your ad in here this is where you select collection so click on collection and choose a template my favorite one is storefront therefore I'm gonna select this okay so under collection ads you you get this window when you click it's basically a, um, a place where you edit your ads format so, uh, as you can see, it requires you to have a catalog. Uh, basically, what a catalog is, catalog is, uh, is a shopping catalog from your products that you have uploaded the products on your website and they are integrated with Facebook. Uh, so, if you, don't, if you don't have any shop catalog, don't worry, because I'm going to teach you how to use, uh, how to upload and create a manual catalog in here. So uh, you can create a header for your ad or you can uh, turn off the header for your ad but it's good to have a header. Suppose I've written this just wish with the name of the e-commerce website. You can also add a logo if you want. Nope. Um, go with the text. And in here the catalog. Uh, what you can do is uh, you can choose a specific order. When you click choose a specific order, you will be able to manually add products without even using a catalog. So what you do is you create your catalog in here manually. I'm going to create a cover video for uh, for the ad. Or, or you can use a video or an image. I'm going to click image. Yeah, this is how the main image will look like. And of course I'm going to click, uh, and of course I'm going to click add a new product. You can type a product headline, shoe sample one, suppose, what's the price, $10, okay, uh, product description, shoes and destination URL, uh, this is very important, you need to type down your website and then click save, okay, this is how it will look like, I'll add more samples in here, click add a new product, shoes, I'm gonna add two more uh, so I added uh, m four more samples of the shoe and uh, the types with the different prices and different descriptions what's beautiful about collection ads is that it ha it has been designed especially for mobile phones and they are optimized for mobile uh, when people see your ad on uh, their feeds on Facebook or Instagram when they click on your ad, they will see this beautiful layout, and when they scroll down uh, even more, your website will automatically load and will open on the same page, which means that you will get loads of traffic for your website as well. 
so finally you can edit this button in here you can say um, see more or any anything that you like you can direct them to your website or uh, you can just direct them to a specific landing page that you have created for displaying all your shoes okay this is how our ad looked like Uh, you can write your primary text here and uh, you can write a headline for your ad uh, you, as you can see the headline appears between the ad which is really cool and you uh, people will get uh, more button you know the, they can click on more and they can see more when they click more they will see the actual layout that you have built already and it will look amazing okay let me expand this ad and show you how it will look like in mobile news feed and yep view full size okay this is how it will look like on your mobile devices and things will get interesting once people click on the more button and they will see that beautiful layout I've also enabled the tracking uh, so I can uh, track the conversions of this ad and also you have the ability to track the URL and uh, build URL parameters for this ad. So the things that I mentioned and you don't know them, just comment below and I will create a video and explain it for you. And uh, the final part is uh, when you're satisfied how your ad looks like, uh, you just click on publish button and wait for Facebook's approval for your ad. And once Facebook approves it, your ad will run for your custom audience and uh, enjoy this uh, selling your products. Have a good day.